Hey y'all, it's Butters. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are having an absolutely fantastic day full of positivity and happiness as always. And today it has been a long, long time since I've shown you guys my bedroom, but today is going to be an update video thing. But I'll go ahead and show you guys what my room looks like right when I walk in. So I open the door and this is what it looks like. Here's the mirror and here is my room, which I love to death. It looks amazing. I'm so happy with it. We've got the G Fuel Pyramid over there. We have a mountain tapestry now, which I love. We have all these wall scrolls. We have a light under the bed that we can change the colors of. Don't mind this, this is gonna be fixed very soon. But also here is my desk, which I have not cleaned before this video for a very specific purpose. But here we are. This is a lived in YouTuber streamer desk. <laughs> uh, yeah, all right. It could, it could look better, I know. But you know what, this is lived in. This is very, organic, if you will. <laughs> and also, as you guys know, I do have an LED light strip that goes on the very back of the entire desk. And also, for those who haven't seen, here is Mordecai, my PC. Mordecai is a beast. Oh, oh my gosh, Tiny Tina fell over. So my Funko Pop fell over. That's gonna be something that we gotta take care of. <laughs> but for today's video, I wanna make a bunch of progress today. I want to do some cable management. I want to add um, some audio panels that'll go on the wall over here. And there was something else I wanted to do. Just clean up, really. Yeah, it's gonna be one of those like cleaning slash decluttering vlogs, I guess. Oh yeah, I have another light here. I should probably turn this one on too. Go. It's blue. Okay, that's really blue. We're going to change this light to like a orange, red, something or other. I'm thinking red. Yeah. Yeah, it's kind of turned up orange on camera, but that's fine. I know it's a small light, but it really does help out in the background of videos. See what I mean? Like it just gives the, the fridge its own light. It looks awesome. So the next thing I want to go ahead and take care of is just cleaning up all this junk that's on the desk, especially over here. I had Wendy's today. It was really good, but I gotta, I gotta declutter a bit. So I will see you guys once I do that. Trash. I had Starbucks today. It was really yummy. Little pumpkin man. Cameron doesn't want to focus on little pumpkin. There we go. Pumpkin man. He's a pumpkin man. We love a pumpkin man. He goes right here. And the bourbon goes not here. Don't know where. Hairbrush. That needs to go in my bathroom. Coin purse. Why is my coin purse? Oh, because I was looking for something in my purses. Purses need to go in the closet. Oh, goodness. I have scissors in here, too. What am I doing? A microfiber cloth. That makes sense. A tape measure. Don't I already have one in here? I think I have one hiding behind my PC. Yep, I do. Wow, Hannah, that's pretty impressive. I got two tape measures in my room. I have another webcam, which I'm just gonna keep right there for now. I have some hair ties that should go in the bathroom. I've got some pens and stuff. I got a notebook that'll go on top of another notebook. Look at me go, I am doing great here. Okay, I went ahead and took care of most of the random assortments on the desk, but it is a little dusty, if you guys can see. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe that down and I will see you guys in a bit. I need a new mix amp pretty bad because no matter how much that I'm trying to dust this off, it just ain't working, it's staying dirty. All right, that looks so much better already. It looks super shiny and not dusty at all, which would make sense because I just dusted it. Okay. Okay, so the next thing I wanna go ahead and focus on now that the desk is relatively clean. So this wall here, it has a lot of space and my neighbors tend to be a little loud sometimes. Nothing wrong with that. They got a kid. They do what they gotta do. They have lives too. It's fine. Um, but sometimes early in the morning or whenever I want to record, sometimes I can hear them through the wall perfectly. So, ta-da. Look what we have. Oh my gosh. Aren't they so cool looking? The company AeroZoom was kind enough to send me a bunch of sound panels to help soundproof my room and I really appreciate it. Thank you guys so much. They let me pick the colors too so I went with black and gray because I thought that would suit my room pretty well I think especially with the mountain tapestry I thought black and gray could look pretty cool. I'm not sure exactly how I want to arrange them on the wall yet. These things are huge by the way. Let me show y'all really quick. These are 18 by 18 audio panels like look at how I can <laughs> it's huge and we got 12 of them six black and six gray. I got them in the pyramid scheme as well. I thought pyramid would look awesome because I have a mountain tapestry and they look like tiny little mountains. <laughs> I could have gotten like the egg crate design or the wedge design or something like that, but I'm like, yo, I want little tiny mountains. So I got little tiny mountains. But if you guys are interested in ordering your own audio panels, these are like super, super professional panels. You guys can use code AZBUTTERS for a discount. Put it up on the screen right now, but you can use AZBUTTERS for a discount 
if you would like to. You do not have to though. Okay, so how on earth am I gonna do this? If I like put up one on the wall, let's see how big it is. Should I do it like this way? Should I do it in like a diamond pattern? I feel like diamond could look really cool. I may or may not use all the panels though. I'm not too sure. These audio panels are huge though. Look at the size of it compared to my Xbox controller. <laughs> He's a little guy. He's lost in all the sound deafness. He doesn't know what to do. He is lost. Also, by the way, these sound deafening panels do come with double-sided tape, so I can use those. Um, how am I going to arrange these? I'm not sure. Do I want them all on this wall? Do I want to leave this wall blank? Do I want to put, like, two on this wall? I don't know what I want yet. <laughs> I think I'm just going to go ahead and play around with it, and we'll see where we're at in a bit. Okay, I stuck up one without really having any plans and he kind of just looks like a black box. Oh, there we go. You can see the little tiny mountains on him. All right, so I'm not really, I don't have a plan. I'm just gonna keep sticking these things up here and kind of hope for the best. <laughs> oh my gosh, do you guys see this one? What is he doing? That just feels inappropriate. <laughs> Behold, he has a friend now. But man, these audio panels are huge and I'm doing the math. Look at this, look at this math that I'm doing. Apparently, from the length of my desk against this wall right here, this wall is 69 inches, don't worry about it. And then to the ceiling from the desk to the, you know, to the ceiling is 64 foot. So I think I can only fit three horizontally, I'm pretty sure. So I'm gonna try that out and see how it looks. Okay, I wanted to go ahead and show you guys the progress that I went ahead and made so far. Look at this, look at it, it looks amazing. <gasps> I'm so excited. Originally, I thought I was only gonna be using maybe like six of them when I was doing the diagonal way, but I definitely like this way a lot better. And with this method, I'll be using all 12 audio panels that were sent to me, so I am so excited. It looks amazing. I cannot wait to do a sound test. We now have the final result that is the audio panels. Check them out. <sighs> I am extremely, extremely happy with the way these things turned out. I'm trying to get them all in the, uh, in the camera frame here, but they look awesome. I honestly wasn't expecting to use all 12 panels, but I did, and I think it looks amazing. I think down the line, I want to add my 100K subscriber plaque here. Um, I'll cut it out and put it in. I think that'll look really nice if I step back. I don't know, but I'm really happy with this and I wanna go ahead and do an audio test really quick. So before I hang these up, I wanna go ahead and do a sound test. This is a sound test with my current microphone, AT2020 USB, without the sound panels up. The sound, the sound panels, what am I trying to say here? Um, I feel like it's probably a little echoey. I'm really excited to see how it is after I actually put the audio panels up. Okay, this is audio test number two with the audio panels up. I don't know if it sounds any better because I can't hear it at the moment. So, uh, Hannah, in post-editing process, how is this audio? You think so? That's crazy. Whatever your answer is. That's really awesome. Okay, Hannah. <laughs> okay, friends, so I'm sitting here recording in my setup and I can hear my neighbors out and about right now. Well, kind of. Well, to be fair, I don't hear them because I think the audio, uh is being deafened properly by these panels, so that works out pretty well. But this is a sound test while my neighbors are out. I think I just heard the kid. Oh my gosh, I can't hear a thing. This is awesome. Okay, now that the audio panels are up, it is time to do some cable management, which I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are excited about because people will like thoroughly enjoy watching befores and afters of cable management. So I got y'all, don't worry. The tools I'll be using to do some cable management you know, I want to stick the power strips under the desk, but I feel like a cable management box is the way to go. I just can't tear up my desk. I'm just, I can't do it. I also have these little guys that you can stick under your desk to help route cables. Um, I found with experience that the little sticky part that comes with these guys is not very good. So I went ahead and bought some double-sided tape as well, just in case. I feel like these won't leave as much damage as an entire power strip that's weighed down, so... I guess we'll see. Got some zip ties for the job. Obviously gonna need some zip ties. And I also have these two things. So first of all, I really, really, really wanna hook up this stream deck. I've had it for a long time. The only thing that stopped me from actually hooking it up is the cables, cause I know it's gonna be awful. So I figured I would wait until I do cable management and then finally hook it up. So that's what we're doing today. Also, I have this HDMI switch, but depending on how far I get into cable management, I'm undecided if I wanna hook this up now or not because I have a TV in my room, but I don't really use it. So mm, I don't know if I need this quite yet, but it's here and if duty calls and I feel like it's appropriate to install, then I will. I am missing a product. Where did I put it? Uh, <laughs> I'm missing something. Oh my gosh, I lost it. Where did I put it? Okay. So, um, I don't know where this certain product went. Uh, 
Are you kidding me? What I have is this USB hub, and I'm gonna need that if I'm gonna be adding my my Elgato Stream Deck. So I don't know where I put it. Uh, <laughs> We'll find it. For now, I want to go ahead and show you guys the cable management that we are working with at the moment. Um, behind the monitors really isn't that bad, if you guys can see. Um, I already did a little bit of cable management, so not too bad at all. Let me get you out past the, uh, the LED strip light here. Um, I'm wondering how I should do it back here um, with, the, with the vertical triple monitor setup. I'm not too sure how I want to do it yet. I don't know if I want to route it up this monitor stand or just route it behind this one because I'm not going to move it at all. So. I'm undecided. But either way, here is the monitor stand for the vertical monitor, and uh, this is the beast. <laughs> this is the beast that we're going to be tackling today. It won't be that bad. Once I zip tie everything together and get everything figured out, it'll be fine. And then if we move down below the desk, it's not that bad. Like, I've done some cable management here, it's just these things didn't stick. So, oh, it's still sticky though. Impressive. But I mostly routed everything back here, and I kind of just wrapped them around this part of the desk as well. Uh, honestly, it's not gonna be that bad at all. I just want to be able to route them underneath the desk and have it be a bit prettier I think the part that's not gonna be very fun for me is gonna be down here um, I can already remove the Xbox 360 because I'm not using it anymore It's just kind of sitting here being a paperweight So all I'm gonna be using is my Xbox one and my ps4 I have a nightstand thing coming in to help house both of these consoles in the meantime I have this monitor stand that I am using and I'm I've got my Xbox one on top of here because I am playing black ops 4 a lot. I don't plan on switching out anytime soon, but soon I will be getting a nightstand that will either sit right here or maybe even under the desk if it fits. And when that happens, I'll do some more cable management. You guys will know about it. But for now, I've got a lot of random electronics around here. I've got one of these uh, power banks here. I've got a 360 adapter in here. I think it might be that one. I think. I've got a 360 controller. I also have Modern Warfare 2 sitting here and I don't know what to do with it because I can't find the case. And I'm a little concerned. I can't just let Modern Warfare 2 float around. I also have my external hard drive over there. I'm just going to be cleaning this up a bit and adding, uh, definitely adding a cable management box. But I really need to find that, uh, that USB hub. I don't know where I put it. I'm kind of concerned now. Man. Hello, friends. I ended up finding what I was looking for. Thank goodness. I thought I lost it forever. But I was going to install is this USB hub. Ta-da. Big old USB hub with, I think, seven USBs. I also went ahead and got this um, USB extension. I don't know, just, you never know. I feel like this is one of those things where you need it in the moment and then you're like, oh my gosh, I don't have one. This is upsetting. So I have one. <laughs> what else have I worked on? Let me show you, oh, let me show you guys really quick. I went ahead and removed a ton of technology here that just wasn't being used, like the Xbox 360, Xbox 360 adapter, Amazon Sonos, I think is what it's called. Uh, and something else I can't remember. There's a lot less cables here, so easier to work with, so that's good. Down here, here's what I'm working with at the moment. I feel like these little sticky cable things, they just need double-sided tape. So I'm gonna end up applying that. Um, like this one, this guy really just, he was not having a day, let me tell you. But literally the next hour is gonna be a bunch of just cable management. Okay, actually, first thing is first, we need to fix Tiny Tina. She fell over, she is just face planting completely inside my PC. We have to fix her right now. All right, here we go. Here we go, we have a fixed Tiny Tina. Cute. Okay, first task, fix this hanging cable right here. It has a little hanging guy on the end. Let's fix him first. I've got a major case of the hiccups. I just bonked my head on the wall because I hiccuped. I don't know about y'all, but I really don't get the hiccups that often, so I don't know why these hiccups are bothering me <laughs> so much. Good Lord. I have some double-sided tape. I'm just gonna be showing you guys, hey look, it's a little cable management routing thing, and then I'm just gonna put double-sided tape on it. I knew I shouldn't have had that br brew scheme. <laughs> uh, mm, we're gonna need another one here, I think. Ah. So I'm gonna grab another one of these and just, you know, route it. Ow, ow, this is totally karma for me drinking a brew ski at 5 a.m. Don't do that. Look at the hiccups. You'll know, bonk your head on the wall multiple times. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> it won't even focus. Oh, of course. So I'm just putting the double side tape on here. And I'm going to peel it off as well. Like a beast. <laughs> Excuse me. And then I'm just going to put it up here and route the cable through it. I'll go ahead and show y'all. The little cable routing guys right here. We routed the cable all the way to here to help them out a little bit. And then the controller for it. The cable is right there. Hello. It's like 7 o'clock in the morning. I need to show you guys the progress that I've made. I'm not all the way done, but I'm getting there 
and it looks really awesome. So I need to tie these down, of course. I'm gonna have two paths, one for the HDMI cables and stuff that are going this way, and then one for everything else that's going down that way. Um, but honestly, everything is looking awesome. You can't see no damn cables. And the mouse and keyboard and stuff, I'll go under the desk. The mix amp cables are awful, but I'll go ahead and show you guys underneath. Now, prepare yourself, okay? It's a little something, but it's managed. There's, I just gotta get those two cables. Uh, what even are those? Uh, HDMI cable and something else. What what the heck is the other one? I don't, I don't know. But I went ahead and hooked up the USB port thing right here. Um, if it'll focus. So I decided to hook up the USB hub here. Um, I think this one's the mix amp, this one is the mouse, and this one is the keyboard. I plan on switching these out pretty often. And then I gotta, I zip tied this, and I have to, let me see if I can like scoop that back up. It's like seven in the morning, I'm sorry. But uh, here's the cable management that we got going on. You know, it's not that pretty, but, but it is managed, it is under control which is good. What is that other cable? I have no idea. I have to cut these zip ties also. I have to cut these zip ties and kind of tie them up even further back here, which won't be a problem at all. And I haven't tackled over here yet. Um, I wanted to do that now. I wanted to turn off my monitors before I did that. So, uh, man, I am so happy. I know this isn't the best cable management, but I'm not going to be changing them out that much besides the, the mouse and keyboard. So I am really happy with this progress. Honestly, you don't realize how many cables you actually have until you start putting them all together. And I can't even cut a zip tie. All right, there you go. Okay, I switched out this power strip. He's a little guy. Got another one in there that I like a little bit better. Had to get another cable management box though because this one was too small, so I upgraded to a bigger one. Uh, everything seems to be working pretty fine except for one monitor. I think it got unplugged somehow, so we'll save him. But uh, I'm gonna go ahead and just handle this last bit of cable management, make it kind of a nice route down. Uh, this box right here, this is powering the uh, ring light, so I don't want to um, put it together with the rest of these in case I want to move the ring light for recording purposes, so that one's going to be a little bit more free-floating. Um, I'll still manage it somewhat, but I do want it to be separate from, from these. So my vertical monitor is not powering on. I think it's just because it needs the, uh, the power button pushed. What do you know? That's exactly what it needed. Wow, isn't that just amazing? Look what time it is. Do you guys see that? 7.22 in the morning? <laughs> I am telling y'all right now, I'm sure I will wake up tomorrow, see my cable management job, and say, what on earth was I thinking? <laughs> Guarantee you it's gonna happen. And you know what? It's, uh, it's fine. Dude, I'm getting a cramp in my foot right now. I'm just getting to the point where I'm like awkwardly talking to myself while I'm doing cable management. These zip ties are tough. These are like outdoor ones, I think, which is fine. We can make it work. Come on. There you go. It's partially open, and honestly, I'm okay with that. Oh my gosh, that took way longer than I think it should have, and I still need to clean up some things. Got the stream deck there, haven't programmed it at all yet, but quick overview of what this all looks like. It looks nice. Look at that cable mint. Well, you can't really see it, can you? Can you see it now? It's not bad. It's really not that bad. It's still loose enough to where if I need to add anything, I still can which is what I really wanted, but if you look from far away, you can't tell there's that many cables right there, which is what I wanted. But then we go down below the desk and it's like, oh my, God. oh, I have to, I have to put that guy up. I totally forgot about him. But uh, yeah, there's still quite a bit down here. What is that awkward loop? I can't control these cables, man. They are really fighting me today. But I mean, that looks nice. And guess what, guess what? This looks nice too, I think. All right, friends, we are finally done with all of the modifications and cable management, hanging up the audio panels, cleaning, finally done with everything that I wanted to do for my setup. I think it looks phenomenal. I'm the kind of person who doesn't like to tie things down permanently. Um, I keep on telling myself I like this monitor placement. I like where this is right now. I like where this is right now. I should tie everything down as, you know, as well as I can. But there's just that voice in the back of my head that's like, you might want to change this out in a bit, Hannah, so don't tie it down to the point where it's going to be hard to remove. So that's why the cable management is a little bit crazy. It's controlled chaos, I guess. That's probably the best way to put it. <laughs> but either way, I'm extremely happy with how this all looks. I love the audio panels as well. I think that everything just looks phenomenal. My setup is really starting to come together 
even more so than before. I mean, it only took a couple of hours. I can see the sunlight outside, but uh, it's fine. <laughs> I'm also excited to try out the Elgato Stream Deck, and uh, there's still a couple of things that I want to get as well. I want to get uh, something to hang up my headphones. I want to get something to prop up my controllers. Uh, there's still quite a bit that I want to do. I want to add that nightstand so that I can get uh, 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 my console stacked and have a place to collect my Pokemon cards and keep them there. And yeah, all right, so I'm really tired. I can hardly commentate right now. I'm gonna go ahead and pop a squat in my setup. Ah, wow. I don't see any cables from where I'm at. Honestly though, like check this out. Where are the cables at? I don't know, not here. And it's pretty phenomenal, I would say. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It took a while and I think it was definitely worth all the effort. I am just, I fall more and more in love with my setup the more that I do stuff to it. So I'm really happy. Um, I don't really know what else to say because it's like 8 o'clock in the morning, so. <laughs> Actually, let's see what time. Oh yeah, it's 8.07. See that? 8.07. Should probably be going to bed. If you guys enjoyed this video, please be sure to leave a like. Um, I don't even know how long this video is going to end up being. It's probably going to be a doozy, but you know, that's alright. People, people really enjoy these cable management, like, game setup tidying videos, including myself. I love them. I'm obsessed with them. So I hope that you guys will enjoy this one too. Anyways, like, comment, face, subscribe if you enjoyed the video. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video of whatever I make. Bye bye <laughs> I'm really tired. I really put in a lot of work today. Been a good day, I would say. I'm a poet. Didn't know it. Make a rhyme. Anytime. Okay, I'm done. Sorry.